Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time, and it is time to brawl and to talk about some balance changes that are coming in the next Brawl Stars update. Now there is a Brawl Stars update that is coming and I will be covering all the sneak peeks that I can possibly give you guys, so make sure you subscribe for that. But for today's video, we're going to be covering the balance changes as well as the 1v1 interactions that are going to happen because of these changes. And lastly, I'll talk a little bit about my personal opinions of them. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, normally for these types of balance change videos, I would include a graphic that will show you what the balance change is. However, I wanted to try and get this out to you as quickly as I possibly could. And as such, all the balance changes are actually in the description of this video. So make sure you guys go check that out if you're wanting any more clarification. Here are some additional changes as well. So in Brawl Ball, bra Brawlers will now spawn inside the goal. And I believe, this is 100% confirmed, but I believe that the goal is actually going to be moved back so you can't actually corner the ball behind your goal. Uh, kicking the ball without your super is now going to consume ammo. And obviously if you have your super, it's going to consume your super as well uh, for a super kick. Uh, that's going to be very interesting here. For showdown, players' names are actually going to just straight up be removed instead of be replaced with three question marks when you're above 300 trophies. And on top of that, poison is actually no longer going to instantly deal damage once it spawns or once it starts to expand. For bounty, the game length is going to be reduced from two and a half minutes down to two minutes. In boss fight, it's now going to show you when the next boss stage is going to be triggered. And they've actually added an additional rage stage to the boss so that'll be interesting when you're playing boss fight it'll actually show you which difficulty you are currently playing and in every game mode the <laughs> bushes are no longer going to respawn after 35 seconds like they have in the past any map any game mode any color all bushes once they're destroyed will be gone for the rest of the match with all that being said let's go ahead and start off by talking about the first balance change which is nita who is receiving a 33 percent buff to her healing that she received from her star power going from 300 hp up to 400 hp correction about nita's star power buff it is going from 300 to 500 hp which is a 67 percent buff brock's also receiving a 25 percent buff to the damage that his star power actually produces when an enemy brawler is hit by that flame after the rocket explodes loads. Now, Bo, he's getting some interesting changes right here, okay? So his star power is actually getting a really huge nerf, okay? So it's decreasing the tile range from six tiles down to four tiles. Now, that's a 33% nerf to the range that he can see, but it's actually a 55% nerf to the total area that he will be able to see. This will make his star power a lot less viable. And to counteract that, they actually decided to give him a an attack buff by 14%. Now, this means that Bo is going to be able to take out Brock and Colt with two complete attacks, and he'll also be able to take out Daryl, Mortis, Nita, and Poco with three complete attacks where it used to take four. He'll also be able to take out Bull with four complete attacks where it used to require five, and this will also make it so that Bo can actually take out every single brawler in the game with at least one less arrow which, as a reminder, that's a third of his attack. El Primo is also getting a buff to his star power where his damage is actually going to be increased from 600 to 800 damage. That is a 33% buff to his star power. Barley is getting a pretty big, uh, a lot of changes right here, okay? So, first of all, they're buffing his star power by 50%. That means they're increasing the total amount of health that he heals up with every single attack from 200 HP up to 300 healing for every single attack now his super is getting a pretty big rework okay now his super damage is no longer going to stack this means you won't be able to deal over 10,000 damage to an enemy brawler or to the enemy safe in heist it used to be that you'd be able to take out 45 percent damage on a safe with a single attack because he was able to deal 20 ticks of damage to that safe and now it's going down to only being able to do four ticks of damage, which is only 11% on the safe, which is huge. This also means that he'll be going from being able to take out every single brawler in the game with his super to only being able to take out Barley, Crow, Piper, Ricochet, or Spike with his super. Additionally, when he actually throws his attack at close range, it's actually going to be a lot more spread out than it used to be. Rather than being able to just dump all five bottles in one spot, it's going to be a lot more spread out now. This is going to greatly decrease his offensive ability in heist and also greatly decrease his defensive ability to deal with tankier brawlers that are up close to him. Now that's a lot of stuff. Kind of sounds scary. I don't think that they're leaving him in the, in the, the dust though. They are also giving a 7% buff 
to his attack damage and his super damage. He'll now be able to deal with Mortis, Nita, and Poco with three complete attacks, each dealing both ticks of damage. And he'll also take one less tick of damage for Barley to take out Jesse, Leon, Mortis, Nita, Pam, Penny, Poco and Terra. Poco is receiving a buff to his star power by 25%. This means that he's going from 400 to 500 healing with every attack used on friendly teammates. And Daryl's also getting a star power buff by 33%, going from 30% to 40% shield protection after he uses his super. On top of that, Daryl's getting an attack buff by 8%. This means Daryl's now going to be able to take out Pam in two complete attacks instead of three. And he'll also now be able to take out every brawler in the game with one less projectile than before. Terra's star power is getting a damage buff and a health buff. Its damage is being increased by 100%, going from 200 per attack to 400 per attack, which is a little bit more menacing. And the health for her star power is going to be increased by 20% from 2,000 to 2,400 health. Leon, guys, Leon is getting a nerf. Now his super duration is being decreased by 20%. It's going from 10 seconds down to 8 seconds seconds and his main attack is receiving an 8% nerf at max damage. This means it is now going to require three complete max attacks for Leon to take out Daryl, Mortis, Nita, and Poco, and it's also going to require four completely maxed out attacks to take out El Primo and Frank, where he be, used to be able to take them both out in three maxed attacks. Additionally, Leon will require one more projectile, I think they're shuriken, uh, to take out Barley, Brock, Bull, Colt, Crow, Daryl, Dynamite, El Primo, Frank, Mortis, Nita, Pam, Piper, Poco, Ricochet, and Spike. That's 16 out of the 22 brawlers in the game. Now, Mortis is receiving a couple of uh, changes. Uh, <laughs> he's getting a star power rework, okay? Enemies will no longer drop souls or green skulls that he can now pick up on death. Instead, with his star power, Mortis will instantly gain 1,800 health. Now, this is an 80% buff to the health that he will gain with his star power, but it'll make it so that he can't save skulls on the ground for when he wants it later on in the fight. Additionally, his attack and his super are getting a buff by 13%. This means that Mortis will now be able to take out Bo and Shelly in four attacks, and he'll be able to take out Pam in five attacks, and Bull in six attacks, and El Primo and Frank in seven attacks. Frank is getting a similar star power rework, where enemies will no longer just drop a skull on death that he has to go and pick up for him to get enraged. enraged. Now, Frank will just instantly get that enraged effect and be able to deal more damage to enemy brawlers and that damage is actually being increased from 30% to 40% which is a 33% buff to the additional attack damage that Frank deals with his star power. And lastly guys we have Ricochet who is receiving a damage buff by 7%. This means that he will be able to take out Pam in three complete attacks and El Primo and Frank in four complete attacks. It also means that he will be able to take out every brawler in the game with one less projectile other than Brock Colt and Dynamite, but uh, everyone else will take one less ball to get taken out. Okay, now that we've actually talked about these balance changes and what is actually going to happen, let's actually talk a little bit about what I think is going to change in the meta because of these changes. And the first thing you'll notice with these balance changes is there's a ton of different star power buffs and changes and stuff like that. Uh, this is actually really interesting to me because it shows to me that Supercell is wanting to widen the gap uh, between level 9 and level 10. Okay, so there are lots of brawlers like Nita whose star power never gets used. Like, it's it's basically useless that they wanted to try and make it a little bit uh, better um, because basically a level 9 Nita was just as effective as a level 10 Nita. You also have Brock, who's kind of in a similar situation, but then you also have Bo, who's like, his star power is just so incredibly strong that it was impossible to give Bo the buffs that he needed because his star power was already making him so strong on other maps. So I definitely think the brawlers that got buffs, their star powers was definitely needed. I mean, we've got Nita, Brock, El Primo, Barley, Poco, and Terra. All of these are brawlers that I classify as having a very low uh, ranking as far as like my tier list for star powers were concerned. So I'm actually really excited about those change. Regarding Frank and Mortis, who are ha having some changes happen to their star powers, they're getting buffed, but the fact that the skulls no longer drop on the floor is going to change some things because at least 
for for Frank, I think this is actually going to be a pretty decent buff to him because the issue with Frank is you don't want to get too close to enemy brawlers, and if you take somebody else out, then you have to actually like get too close to grab their skull, and then that puts you in risk of uh, getting taken out by their teammates and stuff. For Mortis, though, he struggled a little bit more early game, but late game. Basically, you could have up to 10 skulls on the ground just sitting around for you, and the enemy team had no idea where the skulls were or anything like that, and he could just go around and just like have a source or a resource of basically 10,000 HP just available to him. Now, it's just going to be instant. He's just going to instantly gain that HP, which... I think is very useful. Usually, when he takes someone out, he's at low HP because he has to get so close to them and they're just gonna auto aim their attacks on him. So, that is a much needed buff to uh, Mortis, but it is going to change the way that people play with him. So, that's gonna be interesting. One brawler that I really wanted to talk about was Barley. Um, honestly, I don't know how I feel about this, okay? So, already in Heist. Um, I know that Barley, you know, he can take out the safe in 45, you know, take out 45% of a safe in Heist, like, but he still wasn't the number one pick over Dynamite, like, there, there were reasons to pick Barley, and there were reasons to pick Dynamite, and it kind of, like, flopped back and forth, and now, I'm kind of curious if Dynamite is actually going to become just way stronger than Barley is in Heist, Barley's going to become less of an option in Heist, and become more of an option in Gem Grab where his super is actually going to be spread out more close up to him that's going to be interesting he's going to become a lot more weak and in close range combat than he used to be which was one of the things that actually set barley apart from dynamite and he did have that ability to deal with those tanks that got really up close to him because he charged up the super and throw them down and the tank either had to walk through it and just melt or they had to at least fall back um and so now Barley is clearly going to be weak to those tanks uh, that can get up close to him. He's also going to struggle against brawlers like Mortis, uh, who's now getting that, that buff, and also Daryl as well. So that will be interesting. I'm excited to see what happens with Barley and whether, and whether this will actually impact him a ton in Heist. Next up, we've got <laughs> Leon. Oh, man, Leon. Yes. Yes, he's getting a nerf. Um... Nerf of, uh, from his attack damage by 8%? I think he needs to be nerfed a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> or his super is being nerfed by 20%. Okay, so decreased time from 10 seconds down to 8 seconds. So those 2 seconds that you will be missing out on. I mean, the vast majority of the time that I'm using his super, I don't need all 10 seconds. Like, most of the time, I just like go hide in the bush I use my super and then it takes me like five seconds to get close to a target that I want to take out and like then I use my attack and it's all over like it will help in some situations but I don't think that's the nerf that uh he was really strong guys Leon's so strong and he's so easy to play so uh I don't, I don't know you guys will have to let me know what you think about Leon I also uh think that Ricochet getting an attack buff by seven percent I think that Ricochet needs a little bit more love than that, okay? So, when they totally reworked the, the maps, Ricochet got... He got hit hard. He used to be able to control so well in those corridors because it would bounce back and forth um, super well and you could just control big parts of the map. And increased damage, to me, is, isn't what made Ricochet great. For Ricochet, I would love to see either a range increase or a range width increase. Or an increase of the range that he gets from his bonus bounce once he hits uh, balls off the wall. Last thing I wanted to say is I just am surprised that Pam didn't get some type of a nerf. I feel like she's incredibly strong. I think she was strong and then they buffed her and so she became like even more strong. I think Pam is going to be one of the best brawlers in the game for the upcoming meta and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with her. Anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the balance changes happening in the comment section below. I also wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for being so patient for me over the past couple of days. Um, uh, while I've been uh, uh, not putting out videos out. I, I've been working very hard on videos, believe me, guys. And uh, it's funny because I'm actually not releasing the video that I have been working on um, right now. That's a balance changes video. It's going to be something else. You guys will see. It's going to be really cool. I'm actually really excited about it. So you guys will have to definitely look forward to that. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and my Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.